Hey chaps. Oh. <laughs> um, so today's video, I want to talk to you about um, a new page that I'm really excited about. And you know when you procrastinate, when you know you've got something to do, but you just don't know how to move forward. Well, this was me. Um, I hope you can hear, by the way, I ain't got a microphone all set up or anything. Just uh, I'm just at home. Um, I'm about to go to the office. So uh, I thought I'd do, do this quick video. Um, so this was me. I was... I wanted to do a tick page, and it'll become apparent why I wanted to do a tick page, um, because some dobs have more relevance than others, and I'll, I'll go into more detail later, but I wanted the development team, and you've got to bear in mind, the development team have no background in horse racing whatsoever, so everything that they do, they're amazing, but I've had to educate them on, and to educate somebody who doesn't come from a, 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 backing, a betting background is difficult when you're asking them to set up some software that relies on betting knowledge. Um, so the tick page, obviously a tick is say like 2.02 .02 to bet fair, 2.04, 2.06, 2.08. .02. They're all ticks, right? So every price on bet fair is a tick, a tick. Two, 1.99, 1.98, 1.97, and so on. They're all ticks. Um, so I wanted to do a tick page, right? So let's start. I think it'll be much clearer if I just read you part what I've sent to Mahesh um, and I've been working on this trying to have a vision for this for over a month now um, as Trader Bottle know and a few others um, that I've, I've been trying to I don't know get something more relevant in place because as we all know oh you may, may know and may not know if a horse is 40 to 1 and goes down to 20 to 1 in running that's still a dob however there isn't many ticks, and it doesn't take a lot of money to move a horse from 40s to 20s, but officially, it's still decreased in price by 50%, so it's still a dob. However, if a horse goes from 3s to 1.5, that's a dob, but the amount of ticks it's had to go through is far greater than 40s to 20s, and the amount of money it's had to go to through is far greater. So I wanted some way of representing that, and the problem is, there is nowhere in the industry that's had a model that we could base it on and say, right, okay, this works, sort of, if we improve this bit, this bit, take this bit, take this bit, and add this bit, we'll have a great product. There's none of that. This is untrodden ground. So this is very, very new. There is no other vehicle that does this in the whole betting community, betting software industry. There's nobody else that does it. But I wanted to do something. I want... Partly because it's great for you, but it's also great for myself as well because I use it personally. So why wouldn't I want to develop it to make it as best it possibly could be? And so this is why this is why the tick page for me was so important. It's been a project. I, I can't lie; it's been on my job list, number one job list to do for the past three weeks. It's worked its way up to number one. And last night I thought, right, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a few beers. I'm gonna have a few beers because <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but it, it it really allows me to be more creative. That and having a shower. I'm really creative in the shower for some reason, and I should take a notepad in the shower or something because I get so many good ideas. Um, and so last night, the wife was out, put the kids to bed, and I started just like jotting down notes. Right, what do I want? How am I going to get there? What's the process for the customers? How easy is it to use? Because it has to be easy for you guys to use. And I, I appreciate that I'm going on here. So let's just jump into it. So I want to create a page called Ticks. Um, I'll get to what a tick is in a minute. But the reason why I want to create this tick, this tick page is because, example one, if a horse reduces in price from a Betfair SP of 40s to an in-play low of 20s, this is a dob. It has decreased by 50%. Example two. If a horse reduces in price from a Betfair SP of 3s to an in-play low of 1.5, this is also a dob and decreased in price by 50%. Our software scores these equally. They're both dobs, obviously. They, they have both decreased in price by 50% in play. But, 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 they aren't equal. There's one main reason for this and it's well actually there's two there's two main reasons for it um but one reason i haven't put there because i didn't want to confuse mahesh um there's two rain there's two reasons uh, number one is the reason i put there but number two as well is the amount of money so there's two reasons why this one is far more substantial than this one because you don't have to go through um as much money to get a price from 40s to 20s you could do that in maybe 100 pound Oh, I don't, I don't know exactly. It depends on the market, depends on the race, depends on the day and how busy the platform is. But you get the point. So for a horse to go to 3s to 1.5, it takes thousands. So there's a marked difference. So that's the money is one. But I didn't want, like I said, I didn't want to confuse Mahesh. 
So, uh, da, 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 da. the amount of ticks see below ticks explanation. Um, in example one and two, they are both dobs, but example one only moved 20 ticks. So there's 20 ticks from 40 to 20. There is 20 tick movement between the price, a bet fair price of 40 and a bet fair price of 20. Example two moved 100 ticks. There is a 100 ticks movement between a bet fair price of 3 and 1.5. So there you go. You're going from 20 ticks to 100 ticks. Now, which is the bigger achievement? It's this one. Of course it is. But we, don't, we can't separate that automatically on the software. You can separate it manually by saying, oh yeah, okay, that's gone from 40s to 20s. That's almost irrelevant. Uh, this one has gone from 3s to 1.5. It's sustained money. Um, doesn't seem fair that we treat these two the same. Example 2 is a far greater achievement. So, the tick page will reflect this. On Betfair, there are specific odd ranges with, min with own minimum increments. These minimum increments are usually called ticks. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to basically um, get as much information from a hash as possible. From 1.01 .01 to 2, one tick is equal to 0.01. It's, it might not, might not be really easy to understand for you guys, but it's a bit technical. It's slightly technical, just so Mahesh understands um, how this functions. So it goes 1.01, 1.02, 1.03, 0 .03, and so on, all the way up to 2. From 2, from 2.02 2 .02 to 3, one tick is equal to 0 0.02. So it goes 2.05, and you get the picture. So I've outlined every single increment that there is and how much it goes up by and give an example. So hopefully, uh, well, he does, I've already spoken to him this morning. He understands it perfectly. Um, so in this new page, we need something like what is on the search comments. But first, you would decide how a page is structured. Oh yeah, right, so, but first, basically the customer decides on how the page is structured. So you've got two options. When you first click on this in the ticks page, you click back to layer or layer to back. And then the the functionality of the page will be different, uh, and I'll go into the reason why. Uh, the back to layer page, this would need the ability to search for. So very, very simple as well. Everything has to be simple. It's For me, it's the biggest achievement that we've done is keeping these things simple, keeping it for easy to understand for every single person. Um, so box one, you simply put in the amount of ticks a horse decreased in, in price in play. Customers can choose the amount of ticks. So basically you can say, search for horses, well we'll go for an example in a minute. Um, box two, search criteria. Customers again can choose a percentage. Form history, again options of one to ten. So form history you get to say, look back so many races. So for this example, if I selected box one 30 ticks, box two 80%, box three five, this would show me horses that have decreased in ticks by 30 or more in 80% or more of their last five races. Ah, oh, it, it's brilliant. Apps, I cannot wait to use this. It'll be ready Monday. Um, so so my head just said, because he understands it perfectly. And I put a deadline on it for Monday. So Tuesday, you boys and girls can play with us. <laughs> so basically what I've said here is, show me horses that have decreased in price by 30 ticks in search criteria in 80% of their last five races. So 80% or more. Obviously it'll show you if it's done it in 100% in of cases. Um, so, so any horse to show up here would have had to decrease in price by... 30 ticks in four, because that's 80% of four, five is four, in four or more of the last five runnings. And I'll go into, it'll be, if it's hard for you guys to understand and, and see it now, I promise you that it'll be so, so simple and straightforward once it's up and running on the website. God, I've been talking for nine minutes. Um, so that that is excellent. The later back page. Oh, <laughs> I know you guys absolutely love later back at the minute. It seems to be the new trendy thing to do. Um, there's so I get so many emails about later backs. And if it's working for you, brilliant. I'm really, really pleased that you guys are in such success from later backs. Excellent. Um, but just be careful because if it if it shoots past your your um your stop loss, then you could be in a world of, of, of trouble. So just that's the problem with later backs is that the potential is there for it to shoot past your stop loss. And eventually win the race and take and wipe out a, a big stake. So that's that's the one downside of a later backs. 
uh, but damn stop loss. <laughs> um, right, so later back. So it took me, it took, you know, when you do, again, last night, I decided to go on Twitter and I decided to, I was just walking around the house. I was going to have a game of FIFA. I was thinking, right, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? Because I need to explain this to Mahesh, but explaining later back and programming later back is more difficult than, than talking about back to lay. Um, right, so let's, I'm, I'm procrastinating now because I don't want to go through it because I feel like it's, I don't explain it very well. Okay, so box number one. So again, there's going to be three boxes. Again, it's the amount of ticks. A horse has decreased in play but didn't decrease by more. That is the big section of this, but didn't decrease by more. Again, customers can choose the amount of ticks. Number two, sweat search criteria. Customers, again, can choose a percentage. So exactly the same here. Percentage, you can you can choose what percentage we search for. Box three, form history. Again, choose between one and 10 races. This will show me horses that have decreased in ticks by 30 or more. Oh, no, I think I put more. Um, just one second. Phew, I'm back again. Yeah, I put it wrong here. This is just my, <coughs> excuse me. This is just my doodle page in the actual email. I haven't wrote it like that. You see, I've just copied and pasted that there. Um, yeah. But anyway, at least it's right in the proper email to Mahesh. So um, yeah, so this would show me horses that have decreased in ticks by no more than 30 in 80% or more of the last five races. Um, it does get quite hard to understand, but I promise you, I've I've tried it. I've I've do um I've gone onto Betfair. I've tried it and etc. I've, I've tested it, and this will work. This will work, and uh, I I know probably what the reservations you're thinking about, but it will be a great. This later back section will be a great tool in your toolbox. Um, I can't wait for you to see it anyway and try it out, um, because it's hard to visualise in your mind and then when you start doodling and get fair and yes yeah, but it's been it's been hard to get to this point but i promise you this is it's really good it's really re this tick page will be fantastic it could even be the go-to page for everybody um but anyway right so for example if i selected 30 ticks uh box two 80 percent and box three this would show me horses that didn't decrease by more than 30 ticks in play so again that bit's right, but that bit's wrong here. So this would show me horses that didn't decrease by more than 30 ticks in play in 80% or more of the last five races. Obviously, you could say 100% here, and you could say, show me horses that didn't decrease by 10. You know, if you wanted to be really, really strict on your parameters. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really excited by this. It'll be done Monday. It'll be ready for you guys on Monday. Um, this basically is the same principles as the later back page that you are doing. The later back page, I've been told by Mahesh, will be out today. Ah, oh, that'll be... Ah, oh, now I'm going bald. <laughs> I keep doing that. Stop doing that. It's a light. It's a light. Right, so Betting Nation, I hope I haven't bored you too much, but I just wanted to show you behind the scenes and how I develop things and how I run through things in my mind and how we keep better in the software all the time. And I can promise you that that is what I am dedicated to doing. I am absolutely dedicated to keeping this software the best in the business. And I promise you, this takes us to a different level because nobody has ticks, searches via ticks. It's so simple, I can't believe that I didn't think of it previously. And it was only after talking to a, a few people, Razor, and I talked to the um, trader bot as well, Rob, it's, it's become apparent that we need more. We need more than just Dobbs because Dobbs, you do, it's like anything, when you go behind the curtain, that isn't, that is, it's, it's classed as a dub, but it's next to irrelevant for me. I don't even, 40s down to 20s, not interested, not even interested, but it is a dub. But it's just, it's not for me, it's not, it's not a particularly, but for one, another reason as well, you can't get anything on. If I put £100 on there, for one, it's hard to get £100 bang at the price you want, but also, how do you then get £200 out of 20s? Again, it's a big chunk. People have got to go through £200. There's £200. If it's just £10 or £20, people can easily go through it, up it, through it. But as soon as you put £200 there, then it just, people start eating it, but it stays there. £10, £5, £10, £5, £5, £10. And so the longer that it stays there, the more at risk you are in the market. So you're at risk because it's a big amount. So that's why it's just irrelevant for me. These, these prices, I wouldn't even entertain it. So that's why I wanted to do something differently to make sure that we 
could show the achievement of a one to another. 20 ticks. Never in or there, is it? It's it's not. And by the way, um, what we can do, I know that at the mid, this, there is so, other, so many other things we can do with this tick page as well. Um, I, won't, I won't go into, again, it's about price. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll go into other, other things. Um, we'll, we'll keep improving it. We'll keep improving the tick page. And if you've got any ideas how we can improve it or any part of the software, then please let me know. Uh, like I said, I absolutely, I've really, really enjoyed developing this software. I never thought I'd enjoy developing software, technical aspects of it. Don't like it. Da, 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 da. But the great thing is you just, it's not how it's who. <laughs> it's uh, so when you've got a problem and when you don't want to do something and when you're not the best at something so like for example putting a bed together at bloody home I've been putting a bed together right don't think how think who it's a different mindset completely it's changed everything I do if, I, if I'm if i unconfident or unsure or don't want to do something I don't think how I'm going to do it I flip it and say who is going to do it and that's been the mindset for this software uh, for my emails for the click funnels for everything it's not how it's finding the who and yeah, it costs more money, but then you get a better product because look what look what we've achieved now. I haven't I obviously can't program. I haven't programmed anything myself. I can't design. Um, I click funnels. I've tried and tried and tried. I spent hours and hours and hours. I can't do it. So I've just paid somebody else to do it. And so it's not how it's a who. And the bed, the bed at home, literally putting Zach's bed together, a new bed. Oh, it pissed me off. <laughs> it really annoyed me. Um, me and my dad doing it, doing it, doing it. And we saw some drawers too, because it's one of them big beds, and it's got drawers underneath, and it's it's got to go up some stairs, and you put it together. And I said to Claire, I said, oh, you're going to finish it last weekend? I said, yeah, yeah, I'll finish it next weekend, yeah. And I thought, wait a second. I know this is nothing to do with software, by the way. I thought, well, hang about. It's probably going to take me about another three, four hours to do over the weekend. What could I be doing in three, four hours? Playing with the kids, being a family man, enjoying myself over the weekend. And what would I be doing? I'd be upstairs, I'd be shouting, I'd be swearing, and yes, I get mad. <laughs> and I'd, I'd do it, but I thought, right, okay, I've got a handyman called Dave um, who lives on the corner. So I rang up Dave and said, are you free? And he goes, like, free Monday or Tuesday? I goes, how long would it take you to do? He goes, two hours, and he charges £12 an hour. He came, he did another job for me around the house, and it was 24 quid. I swapped 24 quid for four hours with my kids over the weekend. It's a no-brainer. It's not the how, it's a who. Betty Nation, <laughs> you, nobody's probably listened to this bit right now, so <laughs> I can sing, I can dance, because I've all got, got bored and gone. Right, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to this. I uh, appreciate you. And if you aren't a member of the software yet, you simply have to be. It is, it's a different vehicle. It's different to anything you've ever seen before. There is no other product on the market that does what we do. I'm just so passionate about it, and I'm... I never thought it'd be as good as this. I never thought I could get anywhere near how the functionality of it. Uh, it's just brilliant. Okay, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Right, so make sure you sound to the waiting list because we open the doors in, literally we open the doors very, very soon, um, Wednesday, and today is Friday. All right, all the best, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.